As science reveals the intricate construction of proteins, origin of life researchers are confronted with a difficult question. Could amino acids floating in a primordial ocean have arranged themselves into protein molecules through purely random interactions? Obviously, it is very difficult to imagine how in the primordial oceans the amino acids could organize themselves one after another into the right sequence to form even the simplest protein. And a good way to think about this is to think about the English language and how difficult it would be to string together a meaningful English sentence by randomly placing the letters one after another. As an illustration, consider the difficulty of forming just one line of Shakespeare's play, Hamlet, by dropping Scrabble letters randomly onto a tabletop. Only one of 26 possible letters will work correctly at each of the 30 sites in the phrase. The probability of successfully assembling Shakespeare's classic line by pure chance is determined by computing 1 over 26 to the 30th power. The result is a staggering one chance in 2,810 trillion octillion. Yet while these odds are beyond comprehension, they seem almost reasonable when compared to the probability of randomly forming just one of the simplest protein molecules known to science. The smallest proteins in nature are comprised of about 100 amino acids. These chemical components must align in specific positions along a chain. Biologists have estimated that on a planet covered by a primordial soup, filled with complete sets of all 20 types of amino acids, the time necessary to construct a functional protein of 100 units would be roughly equivalent to the oldest estimated age of the universe multiplied by 10 to the 60th power. But despite this inconceivable time frame, even if our protein somehow correctly self-assembled, the mystery of life's origin is still far from resolved. Let's just say that against all odds, against everything we know about science, you do get one 100 amino acid long protein by chance. What do you have? Well, you have one protein. That's it. We don't have life because even the simplest cell requires over 600 proteins in order for it to be functional, in order for it to be alive. So mainstream scientists no longer think that life and the building blocks of life could originate by chance. They're now looking for a way to explain the building blocks and explain life's organization by some form of law or combination of laws that would allow that to happen. Chance is no longer an option.